what's up it's kind of cold out not really but today well the other day I did a poll on Instagram and I asked you guys what you wanted to see and most of you guys said top three tricks to learn before a tail whip and you know your girl is professional at not knowing how to tail whip so <laughs> today I'm gonna be teaching you guys three tricks you can do before a tail whip the first trick is gonna be an X up. Before the X up, what you're gonna wanna do is practice the motion a lot. You're gonna wanna practice motion until it becomes like second nature to you. Just keep doing the motion over and over again. Once you learn how to do that, you can practice doing a little, not even a J hop, you can start off with just a regular bunny hop. Doesn't even have to be that high. Just as long as both wheels are off the ground. And then once you do that, you just wanna you're gonna want to combine the motion and you can kind of do the motion by lifting your scooter up and doing the exit motion at the same time just so you can get a feel for what it feels like to do that sorry for the wind i'm trying to block it with my face let's we're gonna go inside of there it's like a ice skating skating rink so and it's like really smooth ground but people decided to let their dogs loose in there and um I'm not a dog person, so I'm not going in there. <laughs> Doesn't matter which way you spin, you can spin either clockwise or counterclockwise. If you learn how to do them both, um, then you can do oppo X ups and regular X up. I like to have one hand. I turn them count counterclockwise. What you want to do is have one hand closer to the center, and the hand that's going to come towards you is going to be closer to the end of the bar. I don't know why, but it kind of helps me pull pull it better pull it more all the way if I keep both to the center I just kind of go like lightsaber and I come back which is not an X up but yeah so one hand the hand that you're gonna be pushing away from you is gonna be closer to the center and the hand that's gonna be coming towards you it's gonna be kind of in the middle towards the end so it's gonna go like that just get the timing right and the first first trick you can learn second trick the second trick we're going to be learning is called a magnet now when i teach people how to bunny hop a lot of times they start off by doing a magnet and that's when you jump before the scooter so your feet go up first and then the scooter deck comes after so people are not when you first start off scootering you're not really so comfortable with like the whole hand-eye coordination with your scooter so what will happen is they jump before the scooter and they don't pull the scooter up. So what you're gonna wanna do for this trick is exactly that. You're gonna jump first and then pull the scooter up after that. And that's basically the magnet. You just jump and then pull the rest of the scooter with you. The next trick for you guys, well, I'm gonna do two more tricks. So it's gonna be actually four tricks. Um, these tricks are really meant to help you guys get more comfortable on your scooter and um, that's why they're beginner tricks and once you get really comfortable on your scooter you can do a lot of other things like you know um, throwing the bar spins and throwing the tail whips it's not as scary when you feel more in touch with your scooter um, that sounds kind of weird but like you know what I mean this next trick is gonna be an X ride so for the X ride what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump and a lot of times you don't even need to jump if the ground is smooth enough so what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump and you have to fully commit to this trick or else you will loop out. So you're gonna jump and when you jump, you're gonna twist your bars and when you jump down, you're gonna continue riding with your bars crossed like that. So that's an X up. You can do it either way, whichever way is more comfortable for you, it doesn't matter. Either do it clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, so this is how it looks like. And remember, when you do this trick, you have to fully commit to it or else you will loop out. Because <laughs> if it goes like, if you end up landing like this and you're going full speed, your scooter is just going to shoot from behind you or from in front of you, depending on which way you turn. So you want to fully commit for this trick. Don't be scared to commit. I'm a hypocrite. I don't usually like committing because it's a little scary, but this one, just start off going slow and then once you get it, you can go a little faster. So that trick is also pretty self-explanatory. You just turn the bars. What you can practice doing is actually just riding in that position just so you're comfortable riding with your arms crossed and once you get used to riding with your arms crossed then you can just throw it into the exit. Next and last trick is going to be the body burial. 
So a lot of people think the body viral is when you do a full 360 or like change your body going this way behind your scooter, which you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think a body viral or sex change is if you're normally goofy, you're gonna jump and turn your feet so that they face the regular position. If you're regular, then when you jump and you do a body viral, you change into a goofy position. Trick, again, just like the X up, practice riding switch, which is the opposite of how you usually ride. And once you get comfortable with riding, switch just riding around, not doing anything crazy. Maybe you can try to do a bunny hop, so like a switch bunny hop. Um, then you can just start regular and you jump and switch your bot switch your feet to the facing the opposite position of how you usually ride and just hop back out if you're not comfortable. Um, so like I said, these tricks are just basic tricks to learn before a tail up so that you can get a little more comfortable on your scooter. So when you do start throwing some more advanced tricks, um, you'll feel a lot more comfortable and you won't feel like awkward on it. And I noticed that when people aren't comfortable on their scooter, they can't even throw a 180. Like, I couldn't even do a 180 because I wasn't comfortable on my scooter. So now that I became more comfortable on my scooter, I was able to do different things. I'm closer to tail whipping. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe and let me know in the comments what you wanna see. And um, if this is, was helpful, give it a thumbs up too. Subscribe.